you can take a photo of anything and turn it into a 3D model. Sounds insane, right? So I tested five popular AI 3D tools that I found on There's an AI for that, and I'm ranking them by one thing. Which one makes the coolest 3D model from one single input image? Same photo, same rules for every tool. You get to find out that one of these tools gets us amazing results with minimal effort, and there are some tools in here that actually disappointed me. But I want you to be the judge. So let's get started. All right, tool number five is first. Name of the tool is Tripo 3D. Their homepage looks something like this. With this example, just like with the others, we are going to use the same base images. This real picture of my dog that I took in the beginning of the video, and this AI generated picture of a troll. We are going to use them as reference images starting with this tool. Let's drag and drop it here. Let's keep this at standard for now and let's click generate. And this is the end result. Looks pretty decent. I mean, we don't have any terms of comparison for now because this is the first tool, but it looks okay. Other than the fact that it's missing a leg and the details on its face are not that good. Let's try generating the same thing, but with ultra resolution. This is double the credits. Let's click generate. You also have a polygon thingy that you can drag up to 2 million polygons. This is ultra and it, it looks kind of messed up to be honest. I, I don't know why it looks like it has three noses. This one has all of the legs, which is a good thing. But if we're talking about the texture, it still feels a bit off. Although it's much better than the normal one. And this is what the highest number of polygons looks like. There definitely is improvement. Next up for the same tool, we are going to use this image right here of this AI generated troll, which looks something like this. Looks a bit better and it only makes sense that these tools are going to work better on AI generated images. By the end of this video, I'm gonna show you what you can actually do with these 3D models. Because once you have them as a base, you can pretty much do anything with them, even playable video games. So make sure to watch it until the end. The next AI 3D tool from our list number four is Modelfy 3D. They have a pretty simple website. It looks more like a landing page than a website. You don't have your very own workplace. You only have this area right here. You can upload an image and turn it into a 3D model. Let's take the picture of our dog, upload it. <laughs> this is what the standard looks like. <laughs> this looks more like a sheep than a dog. This is very, very weird. Everything is weird about this image. Unfortunately, I think it's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. But hey, there's an ultra version for it as well, which looks like this. So apparently if you want images that are not going to haunt you in your dreams, you have to pay extra. Close up shot. The clothes, the tail, the legs. I mean, the shape is right and this is pretty much usable. You can actually use this, but it's still lower quality than the previous tool. Next up, we have the troll, which looks something like this. It's not bad, but the mushrooms are not in a basket. And it seems like this tool is not necessarily shining on the parts in which it has to imagine what's not being shown in the input picture. For example, the head of the troll doesn't look like a head from the backside. Look at the original image here, and it's clear that it just tries to guess what's behind the picture. And in both of these cases, the guessing was not the best. Let's try it on Ultra. Oh, it looks better. The arms look very good. The face of the troll is pretty accurate. It still doesn't know that these are mushrooms, but hey, it's a much better improvement. So far, this tool seems to me like a pay to play concept. You can only get decent results if you're actually paying more money. Next up on our list, we have 3D AI Studio. This one has image to 3D, text to 3D, which we're gonna try out, texture generator, texture painter, and some other interesting stuff. Let's check it out. All right, so this is my dog. And to be honest, it looks pretty decent. I don't know how, but it knows that my, my dog's belly it has these white spots. This is pretty accurate, yeah. The little sweater that she's wearing looks very good. The color matches. Here is the real picture of my dog and here's this 3D generated mock-up. They look pretty similar. Let's see, make the sweater red. And this is what it came up with. Um, I don't know about that, it's pretty weird. Prompting for textures doesn't really work. Let's check out the troll. Looking good, Mr. Troll. Mushrooms are there, texture looking good. The troll's head looks pretty decent. Its ears, the hands, the cane looks good. I have to say, this is a top contender. For this tool, I'm going to include a small bonus, which I told you about when we first talked about this model, is the fact that we can generate 3D models with only a simple text prompt. A futuristic robot dragon made of chrome panels and glowing blue circuits. And to my surprise, it looks 
absolutely mind-blowing i think this is the best generation that i've seen so far look at the textures i'm zooming in the best way i can and it looks something like this and this is the entire dragon amazing work amazing work close up of its head very good by the way guys for those of you watching this video if you want this all you have to do is ask me in the comments and i'm gonna send it to you this next tool is pretty interesting because it's specialized into transforming your ideas into printable 3d models all of the tools that we've used so far generated 3d models that we can actually use in games in animations or in any kind of personal projects this one helps you bring it to life and actually use it with a 3d printer in order to have the mock-up in real life so we have standard 3d model at 15,000 faces for four credits or premium 3d model at 50,000 faces for eight credits let's do the premium one and let's hit generate the dog looks something like this the polygon count is pretty low i mean look at this the face is not that defined there are no eyes it looks like a low polygon count which would help in a video game the shape looks pretty decent but i don't like the details and i think that this gets us to a different conversation which is the 3d printer that you might have at your home if it's not the best state-of-the-art 3d printer then maybe this tool would be the right fit for you but if you want something of a higher quality i don't know what to say let's try out the troll this is how the troll looks like it's the only tool honestly so far that has the head right it feels like these tools that are making mock-ups ready for 3d printers do not put an emphasis on the faces because those are elements that are full of details and that could be the reason why the faces are blurry and they don't have eyes the final tool on our list is Fast 3D. On the first impression, Fast 3D has everything you need. Image to 3D, text to 3D. You can play with the mesh density, which ranges from Fast, Standard, Pro, Ultra. You can go with or without the texture. And they say that they can generate any 3D model in less than 10 seconds. This is the dog, which looks pretty bland. I mean, it's not wrong, it's not missing legs, but it looks pretty, pretty simple, pretty bland. This is the troll, which looks pretty good, to be honest. Both of them are standard quality. So guys, what do you think? In my opinion, all of the tools had some trade-offs. I didn't find any perfect tool, but I think it's pretty clear that from all of these tools, Tripo 3D stands out. Let me show you some additional features of it. This is text to 3D model, for which we use the same exact prompt of the dragon. They also have this feature that's called segmentation that allows you to segment each and every part of the dragon and treat it as a own entity. They also have a retopology feature that can basically refine any 3D model into a model that's optimized for a game for example they also have this gallery part which is made out of projects that their users completed you can see all of them with texture and without texture and if you like something from here you can just click it and make changes to it the way you wish so guys let me know in the comments which one of these tools did you find the most interesting and which one will you use in the future i promise you that i'm going to read all of the comments make sure to check out there's an ad for that the website where we found all of these tools and much more actually more than 42,000 ai tools that are listed on our platform and and while you're at it, don't forget to check out our newsletter, which is the biggest AI newsletter in the world with more than 2.2 million daily readers. Thank you for watching. And as always, see you next time.